Mike in Redwood City writes to me, my question to you, Paul, is simple. Okay, I like simple questions. What are your thoughts on running subs out of phase with the mains? I have a fairly small room, about 14 by 20. It's not that small. And I've struggled mightily with the bass. There are hot spots where the bass booms excessively, and yet in the listening position, I get cancellations and standing waves. I have your audiophiles guide the speaker, thank you, and the CD, and was pleasantly surprised that my current setup pretty much checked almost all the boxes, as I am extremely limited with speaker placement. However, I've struggled, as I mentioned, with low bass. Recently, I upgraded my subs and, not sure why I never thought of this before, but decided to throw both subs out of phase. I thought to put one out of phase before, which helped, but then I switched both and oh my god, what an amazing difference. So does running the subs out of phase degrade the sound at all? Uh, no, not if it works. I mean, at those very low frequencies the phase really isn't that important. We used to put a phase control on our subs at Genesis where you had 360 degree control and you could set it anywhere you want. What you're doing is you're moving it in time so that those long wavelengths somehow get you know, either to the point where they're not canceling or they are canceling if there's a big peak. So changing, you know, and, and I think having a, a variable phase on that can help a lot, but positioning is probably going to be your best friend. It sounds to me like you might consider doing something very different if your room will support it. Have you thought about doing a near field subwoofer setup? Now, I know in the audiophiles guide, the stereo, which the book that you have that I have just rewritten, by the way, and I got a whole new audiophiles guide set up, uh, nine, nine volume set on the way, coming, and you'll be able to buy one specifically on the subwoofer. And in that book on the subwoofer, I discuss two completely separate ways of adding subs to your system. And in some cases, having a near field sub is the way to go, especially in very problematic rooms. So look for that book, should be out sometime in December. And basically, I can just tell you here in, in, the, in the video, then I highly recommend you going to get that book if, uh, as soon as it's available. So a near field experience is where the sub is, and I give you an example, it could be behind you, could be to the side, whatever your room is gonna support, so that you're actually in the field of the woofer and then the room doesn't play into that almost at all and your main speakers are out here life's good you've got flat response or a more standard procedure which i describe over there and i tell you how to set it up and move uh, your pair of subs but one of those ways will probably work for you at the end of the day whatever works with a sub is the right way to go because there's no perfect way in a room to get bass. It just isn't. I've heard perfect bass, but boy, it's rare. So if it's working, you go for it, man. All right? And if you get a chance, look for that book, The Audiophile's Guide. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>